would you eat? Would you eat ten cockroaches to get rid of every cockroach to ever exist? Would you? No. So you would you would rather still see cockroaches than eat ten? I hate every conversation that has to do with insects. Okay, what if there's a fly? A fly? And yeah, no, not the fly with Jeff Goldblum. <laughs> no. What if there was a fly? Mm -hmm. Just in general, what if there was? What would you do? What do you mean? Just like a normal fly? I don't know. Is it normal? I don't. It's just a fly. And it's just kind of there. And what would I do with it? Yeah. What would you do? Well, if it, I, I, I don't know. Probably hide. Hide. It's a fly. Yeah. If, if anything buzzes near me, I will duck away. It's a fly. What if it's just sitting there? It's. Yeah, what if it's just, like, on the wall, sitting there? I might try and kill it. Well, what if you tried, and then it looks at you with puppy dog eyes, what would you do? Throw it out the- what? Mm, find a way to get it out the window. Okay, well, you get it out the window, and then it, there's another fly on the wall. <laughs> Make him pay rent or leave. But he doesn't leave, and he's just on the wall. And then try and kill him. But you kill him and then there's another fly. So the flies will just keep coming no matter what? Yeah, well, it's a fly that keeps coming. Wait, but if you just killed it, then... Yeah, um, but another a fly comes in. So there's so always gonna be the more flies? No, it's just a fly. But the there's only gonna be one you don't at even a know time. What you're doing in the game because you're thinking too hard about the fly. There's so only gonna be one at a time. What? If there's only yeah, a fly. But yeah, if you kill it though, there's just another a another fly. one comes. Yeah, a fly comes. Yeah, and it's on the wall. Well, then I get like it would just sit there forever. Yeah. Well, no. If you killed it, it wouldn't just sit there forever. It would die. Well, no, what if I don't kill it? Would it just sit there forever until it dies? It wouldn't die. It'd just be there. Well, then i just leave it alone. So then... What if that fly can transcend time and space? Then he'd become my best friend. As long as they don't crawl on me in weird ways. Or, like, go near my eyes. What if he... What if he, like, looks you right in the eye? I mean, if he looks me in the eye, that's fine. I just kind of don't want him on my face. He flies up right in front of you and looks you right in the eye. Is he touching and me? No, but he's looking you right in the eye. And no matter which, no matter if you, like, walk away, he's still right there. So he just permanently follows you? He's not following you. He's right in front of you. You're following it. And if you were to kill it, would another one appear? No. So what's it so transcends special? transcends reality. Uh, oh. So it's just kind of like all-seeing? time and space. No, it's just looking at you. It's not all-seeing. Well, why would it look at me if it can transcend time and space? No, it's, it's hypothetical. And it's not real. <laughs> um... You know, I feel like we could make these conversations into really weird games. If you swat at it, it just goes through your hand. And now there's a hole in your hand that's fly-shaped. Uh -oh. So he's just gonna kinda stare at you forever? Yeah. And he's always the exact same distance. Even when you're sleeping, he's right there. Well, I, I feel like he'd just get used to it and like... There's Ignore it at some point. Always going to be this, there's always going to be this black spot right in front of you. Yeah, but I and mean, you can't you do anything about it. Yeah. yeah, but you could try and do something about it. But you can't, so there's no point. Yeah, you call you call the the, the 
fly exterminate the fly that can transcend reality and time and space to this this is this people that can kill flies that can transcend reality time and space exterminators and they to kill it well what's the cost of calling them uh, you gotta get rid of the fly well, I feel like that would have a downside if you get rid of the fly. But he's also not really doing anything for you but blocking some of your vision. Yeah. So it would be worth it to get rid of the fly. But what if the fly was secretly helpful? And well, you get rid of it, and then your life slowly gets worse and worse. Well, then I keep don't the fly. Know but you don't know that. Well, I d mm -hmm. Well, either way, it's a, a fly that transcends time and space, so I'd kind of want to keep it around anyway. Even if you put it in a time machine and send it to 500 years to the future, it comes back. So he just really likes you for some reason. He doesn't like you. He's just... He's just there. Well, does he choose You're to be there? You're supposed to be there? going to the beach, by the way. <laughs> Does he choose to be there? Yeah, he's choosing to be there. He could leave if he wants to, but he doesn't. Well, why doesn't he? Can I find out? No. He's oh. not gonna tell you. He's a fly. Is there any way to Go communicate to the with the fly? No. Well... So he's just kinda there. So you'd have a permanent friend. You'd. I mean, he just kind of sees you do everything. He's a fly. Yeah, he sees you do. He sees you do everything. Everything. He never. It's a little bit weird, but then again, he's just a fly. It'd be no different than if, if you're a fly. Doing something he doesn't like. He shakes his head at you. So he does he does understand basic human stuff. Yeah. He knows everything. He he transcends time and space. He's seen oh. he's seen the end of the world and the beginning of so the So no universe. matter what you do, he would already know. So it doesn't matter. He, no, that's why he's following you. He doesn't know what you're going to do. But then how but he could Oh, that's why he's finding out. Yeah. Always watching. Okay, you'll get a palatos. A palatos. <laughs> That's what you're supposed to be doing. That's okay. not that. The thing right there. Well, that's cool that Fly's so interested in you that he's just gonna stick around. Well, he does it to every human eventually. Oh. He's trying to learn what every human does. But he's being very intrusive. Well, yeah, but once again, he's just a little fly. Yeah, but you can't swat him away. Hmm. You need to get him to the ocean so he breaks open. Okay. What would you do with the fly, though? Well, what would you, you show him? I don't know. Is there a way to communicate with him? What would you show him? Like, what would you do while he's following you? Uh... Probably try and find a way to communicate with him. Or she doesn't want to talk to you. Well, then... I don't know. They just kind of be there <laughs> until I die, so... Not yeah, much you really... fly fall on you. Yeah, but you can't get rid of him. He probably won't want to talk to you. He's just there to observe. Yeah, but he shakes his head at you if you do anything he doesn't like. Well, yeah, but does that have any repercussions to it? Yeah, well, you have to look at him shake his head at you. But that's it. Like, the world doesn't yeah. end or anything. He just kind of shakes his yeah. head. That means he's disappointed in you. Well, would he nod his head if he's happy in you? Or... No, he's always either disappointed or just, just doesn't care. Mm. Yeah. Well, now I'm interested in the fly. Like, how did he get to this state of being? <laughs> now I'm going to observe him observing me. 
Well, he's always been in this state of being. He just kind of doesn't know how he got there? He's a fly. <laughs> you heard me. You know what I said. He's just a fly. He's a fly. Is there any silhouette swimmer to this sandalwood? Why? I don't know why. I just looked up fly. Uh, <laughs> He's taking over your brain. Wrinkle pee. Well, yeah. Well, I'm just asking you because I have one. So. What? Huh? What are you talking about? What? Can only you huh? see the fly? No, everyone can see it. Oh, everyone just knows there's a fly there for some reason. Oh well, yeah. I wonder what happened to ghost. Was a fly. Uh, I think it was a fly. No, they got to her. Yeah, it left me. What if it comes to you? What if it went to you? <laughs> oh god. The flies are after us. You sent them on to us. Yeah, I did it. I made the fly. I made a fly, sorry. Follow it. Woo. Made more offerings to your okay. box. Yes. You good? No, what's the point? You already know I'm a fraud. I might as well save my energy. Why put on an act? Well, it's not entirely an act. I really do mean everything I say. It's just... Nobody's gonna listen to Shelsy Woolbag from Nowheresville. But they will listen to Sherda! One who is wise! One who is pure! One who is invincible! I have to set an example for the others. I can't let bug snacks have power over me. I'm supposed to be better than that. But you ate them anyway. I ate them. Because I'm not better than that. Despite all my years, I'm still weak and clueless. <laughs> if I've got any wisdom left to share, it's how not to end up like me. Well, mm -hmm. mm. yeah, she's still gonna eat him. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep, there she goes. Oh, never mind. Blessed. Join our expedition? You're asking me? <clears throat> well, of course. Your need for guidance is great. Despite the peril, one will show you the path. And that scary little island. <laughs> if it's what I think it is, there's something there I need to see. All right, get up, Squidward. Do oh, you better believe I do. But um, go to sleep and we'll wait till uh, daytime or whatever. Coco might. Coco, no, there ah. it is. So we'll take a picture of that. Coco might hustle, oh, ah. and then you knock. Oh, I get it. Oh. Okay. And then it lands, and you... What? And then there's two different versions of it. Wait, pick! Oh, never mind, you can't pick it up. Wait for break out. Oh, you can probably drag it over. No. Hold on, I'll look it up. Um, let's see. Let's see. Oko. I think she wanted two. Yeah, but... You only need to change one of them into a Kokomite. And then you gotta feed her other things and turn her other body parts into them. No, feed her other things. Oh. Yum, yum, yum. Intriguing. Hmm. My body has changed into more Kokomites than I've eaten. Can you even comprehend what has happened? This means that all bug snacks are one and the same. Each one could change into any other with the right stimulus. And now that is true of me. Now, use the snack activator to its full potential. I want limbs of Noodler, Cocomite, Banabra, and Strabby all at once. Noodler. 
So go and get a noodler. Okay. Don't. Wait, Don't. why is there cheese sauce plants? Despite your general ignorance, you have been of use to me. Good job. No matter how many bug snacks I become, my body feels no different. Is there a threshold of crumpusness? When every cell of my body is bug snacks, will I remain floofy fizzle bean? Or will I simply be bug snacks right down to the taste? I must find out. Hmm. <coughs> <laughs> oh lord, she's hmm. going the same. The answers won't come to me without further testing. However, I have exhausted my research here. I will experiment on Snacksburg. Uh... You mean experiment in Snacksburg? <laughs> I look forward to working with you further. Alright. She likes you, I guess. Achievement unlocked. No she's gonna run into it. She's gonna run into it. Wait. <laughs> there you go. Oh. I'm sorry to say, Professor oh. Lotterblog, but you and this charming specimen are not related. Oh, well, that's all right then. Thanks for the help. May I keep it? I could use a few more skeletons in my closet. <laughs> Go ahead. It doesn't really matter now anyway. Interview. Interview? I am not here to spew gossip for that obnoxious rag you call a newspaper. I want to yeah, hear from the smartest group in town. Very well. If you insist, I will educate you. That interview. <laughs> Who are How do you? you get so stupid? I am Flufty Fizzlebean, the world's first <laughs> gastroentomologist. What is exactly a gastroentomologist? In baby language, I study bug snacks and their effect on grumpuses. Why come to snack to a then? To study bug snacks, obviously. You didn't know what bug snacks were until you got here. <sighs> when Elizabeth Megafig was recruiting for her cult of personality, I observed something strange about her arm. She was keeping it hidden, but she displayed early stages of snackification. That piqued my interest. Thoughts on bug snacks? You are asking for opinions instead of facts. I'm not going to discuss my feelings with you. Emotional parasite. All right. Emotional parasite. Every time I try to publish my groundbreaking research, you journalists instead churn out slander about my dangerous methods or my questionable behavior. Stop editorializing and focus on the science. Why did you leave town? I simply wanted to continue my work, Egabel or no, but Shelda blamed me for the disappearances. I'm no stranger to witch hunts. I vacated before the pitchforks could come out. Is it, is it true, true that, that you eat grumpuses? <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. I've only eaten one grumpus. <laughs> Was it Lizbird? Why is there Why is a severed leg in different? your house? What? It's probably her leg. Or I keep oh. my severed leg in the outhouse. Oh, no, right. it's not her. Any info on Lizbird? The truth. Elizabeth was an arrogant coward, unlike Egabel. What about Egabel? Egabel? Egabel truly understood my research. She was hungry to participate in it. Our work together was fruitful, even pleasant, until somebody interfered. Who? Shelda. That mummified fraud stoked Elizabeth's fear of my work, weaponizing her relationship to Egabel. Scrambling her fragile emotions and fabricating a binary choice between myself and Elizabeth. But what happened? Ultimately, Agabel chose sentiment over science. And I surmise that was the death of her. Any final thoughts? Yes. I have the password to Agabel's personal storage oh. box. It may be of interest to you. You've wasted enough password, of my time now. Leave. Alright. I have to give you a mysterious key. Achievement unlocked. Talking about bugs nest. Cool. Is it here? I don't know. Where oh wait, wait, wait! I know where it is. Show to steal the box. Probably. Mystery key. Oh. Ooh. 
She did steal the box. <laughs> you picked up a video diary. I don't like how there's uh, eyes maybe. everywhere. I feel like I'm being watched. They're dead. Probably. Yeah, still pretty big though. Ooh, last we one. You need to do Grandpa's quest. Today is the day maybe I, the last one. Elizabeth Megapig, solved the greatest mystery of this island. I found a door near the frosted peak. What could be behind it? I wonder. <laughs> Who wait for me, Liz? Bill? What are you doing out here? Following you. <gasps> Did you want to come with me? I thought it might be fun no. to hunt bug snacks together. I... if that's alright with you. That'd be amazing. But maybe not today. This peak isn't for beginners. I've been practicing. I got Chandler to show me the ropes, bro. Uh. <laughs> Very impressive. I didn't know you were working out. I guess it's hard to see my muscles under the bug snacks. You really are changing, Bill. I'm sorry I was being so selfish. It's okay. I don't want apologies, worrying, any of it. I just want us to be together. And to see how much you're exaggerating about your dangerous work. <laughs> oh, really? Think it'll be a walk in the park, huh? That's right. And I bet I can even catch more book snacks than you. Woohoo! You're on. But be careful. Hmm. 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 Redacted. Hmm. Redacted. Hmm. <laughs> you need to turn Bepica into a bunch of gummy bears. Oh god. Oh, I'm my mouth Stop eating. Stop. Stop eating. Okay. Stop. <laughs> 